Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we will be looking at probability questions for students studying in the 11 plus as well as students in year 6 and year 7. Uh, you'll be able to download uh, this uh, paper in the, from the link in the description and also there are other mock tests and practice tests in my YouTube channel which will uh, be useful for children preparing for the 11 plus. Please check that out and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel for updates on my latest videos. Now let's get into it. Okay, first question. A bag holds Lego pieces which are all the same size. There are six red pieces, three blue pieces, two green pieces and four white pieces. What's the probability of pulling a red piece out of the bag? So the probability of pulling a red piece is the amount of red pieces over the total amount of pieces. So there are six red pieces and there are 15 total pieces, and that is equal to 2 over 5. And your answer is 2 over 5. So Mark tosses 3 coins. By making a list, find the probability that he'll get 2 heads and 1 tail. So first you have to make a list. So the list look like, looks like this. Heads, heads, heads. Tails, tails, tails. Tails, heads, heads. Heads, tails, tails. Heads, tails, heads. Tails, heads, tails. Tails, tails, heads, and heads, heads, tails. So th uh, there are 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8 possible outcomes, as there are 2 outcomes for each of the 3 coins. So by this list, the outcomes which gives 2 heads and 1 tails are uh, tails, heads, 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 tails, heads, and heads, heads, tails. So 3 of the 8 outcomes gives 2 heads and 1 tail, and so the answer is 3 out of 8, 3 over 8. Next question. Sally tosses a 50p coin and throws a conventional six-sided die. What is the probability she gets a head and a three? So a coin flip and a die throw are what is known as independent events, meaning the result of one won't affect the result of the other. So to work out the probability of two or more independent events, you work out the probability of each of the events and multiply them together. So the probability that Sally gets heads is a half, and the probability that she gets 3 is 1 in 6. So a uh, half times 1 over 6 is 1 over 12, and the answer is 1 over 12. Erin tosses a 50p coin twice. What is the probability that she gets two tails? Okay, so again, two coin flips are independent events. So the probability of tails on both rows is a half. So, a half times a half is a quarter, and so your answer is a quarter. A card is drawn at random from a deck of cards. Find the probability of getting a three of diamonds. So in the 11 plus, you must know how cards work. So basically, there are 52 cards in a deck. There are four suits, each with 13 cards. So the four suits are hearts and diamonds, which are the red suits, and the clubs and spades, which are the black suits. Each suit contains 13 cards, which are a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, a 9, a 10, a jack, a queen, a king, and an ace. So the 3 of diamonds is one card in the deck of 52, making the probability of uh, drawing one out 1 in 52. So your answer is 1 over 52. A card is drawn at random from a deck of cards. Find the probability of getting a queen. So there's one queen in each of the four suits. This makes four queens out of 52 cards. So four over 52 is equal to one over 13. So your answer is one over 13. Next question. Sean has a box of pens. Uh, the box contains six blue pens, eight black pens, and three red pens. What is the probability that he will pick a blue pen? So uh, there are six blue pens and 17 total pens. So the answer is six over 17. So, some more blue pens are now added to the box. The probability of uh, selecting a blue pen is now a half. How many blue pens were added to the box? So, there are 11 black pens and red pens in total. So, for the probability of selecting a blue pen to be half, there must also be 11 blue pens. So, there are currently 6 blue pens, so 5 more must be added. And so, 5 more blue pens must be added. Next question. Dennis has a bag of counters. The counters are red, green, white, and pink. There are 200 counters in the bag. The probability of a pink counter is 0 0.15. The probability of a green uh, counter is 0 0.25. The probability of a red counter is twice the probability of a white counter. 
calculate the number of red counters in the bag. Okay, so the probability of the pink is 0 0.15, and the probability of a green is 0 0.25. So this means the probability of picking a white and a, or a red counter is 0 0.6. Since the probability of uh, the, a red counter is twice the probability of a white counter, 0 0.6 must therefore be divided in the ratio 2 to 1. Therefore, the probability of red is 0 0.4, and the probability of white is 0 0.2. Uh, so, to work out the amount of red counters, you must do 0 0.4 times 200, which is the total amount of counters, to give you 80. So, there is 80 counters, 80 red counters. Okay, next question. So, uh, a rugby team can win, draw, or lose a match. The table below shows the probabilities of each result. Calculate the missing probability in the table. So, the probability of winning or drawing is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.35, which is 0 0.75. Therefore, the probability of losing is 1 minus 0 0.75, which is 0 0.25. The answer is 0 0.25. So, each win is worth 2 points. Each draw is worth 1 point, and each loss is worth 0 points. The rugby team plays 20 games a season. Work out uh, how many points the rugby team should receive in one season. So they should win 0 0.4 times 20 is 8 of their games. This gives them 8 times 2, which is 16 points. They will draw, I mean they should draw, 0 0.35 times 20 equals 7 games. This gives them 7 points. And they uh, lose 0 0.25 times 20, which is 5 games. So this gives them no points. So 16 plus 7 is 23 points. So the rugby team should um, earn 23 points. Okay, next question. Mrs Jenkins is organising a charity raffle. She sells 300 tickets for £3 each. The probability that someone wins a prize is 0 0.2. Each prize costs eight pounds. The profit donated is donated to charity. Work out how much money Mrs. Jenkins donates to charity. So first, Mrs. Jenkins makes three hundred times three uh, equals to nine hundred pounds from selling raffle tickets. So uh, sixty people win a prize, as that is zero point two times three hundred, meaning she spends uh, sixty times eight pounds, which is equal to four hundred and eighty pounds on prizes. So this means she makes 900 minus 480 is equal to 420 pounds in profit for charity. So the answer is 420 pounds. A bag contains 400 coloured counters. The counters are either yellow, brown or green. There are 92 yellow counters in the bag. The probability that a brown counter is chosen from the bag is 0 0.13. Calculate the number of green counters in the bag. Okay, so there are 92 yellow counters. There are 0 0.13 times 400, which is equal to 52 brown counters. There are therefore 92 plus 52, which is equal to 144 brown and yellow counters. So, uh, the number of green counters is 400 minus 144, which is 256. So your answer is 256. Two cards are drawn from a standard deck of 52, one after another. So if the first card is a king, and the card is not replaced, what is the probability of selecting a king on the second draw? Okay, so uh, t if uh, two card draws where the first card is not replaced are dependent events, this means that the first outcome affects the probability of the second outcome. So, uh, if, uh, to tell you, show you what I mean, if the first card is a king, there are now three remaining kings and 51 remaining total cards, as you didn't replace the first card. This makes the answer 3 over 51, which is equal to 1 over 17. So the answer is 1 over 17. Okay, next question. Uh, two cards are drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards, one after another. Find the probability of selecting a king from the first draw and a queen on the second draw, without replacing the first card. So the probability of a king first draw is 4 over 52. The probability of a queen on the second to draw is 4 over 51, as the first draw was not replaced in the deck. So 4 over 52 times 4 over 51 is equal to 1 over 13 times 4 over 51, which, if you uh, do long multiplication, is equal to 4 over 663. So your answer is 4 over 663. Okay, two cards are drawn from a standard deck of 52, one after the other. Find the probability of selecting a jack on the first draw and a queen on the second draw after replacing the first card. So the probability of drawing a jack first is 4 over 52, 
and the probability of drawing a queen on the second draw is also 4 over 52, as the first draw is replaced into the deck. So 4 over 52 times 4 over 52 is equal to 1 over 13 times 1 over 13, giving you an answer of 1 over 169. So your answer is 1 over 169. Next question. A pair of dice are rolled. Find the probability of showing uh, an even number on both dice. So there are three even numbers on a dice, and there are six numbers total. This makes the probability of rolling an even number 3 over 6, which is equal to a half. This means that the probability of rolling two even numbers is a half times a half, which is a quarter. So the answer is a quarter. A pair of dice are rolled. Find the probability of showing prime numbers on both dice. So there are three prime numbers on a dice, which are 2, 3 and 5, and there are six numbers total. You have to remember that 1 is not a prime number. This makes the probability of rolling a prime number uh, 3 over 6, which is uh, equal to a half. So the probability of rolling two prime numbers is a half times a half, which is a quarter. So the answer is a quarter. Okay, final question. A pair of dice are rolled. Find the probability of showing the same numbers on both dice. So there are six possible outcomes for each die, meaning the total number of outcomes for the pair of dice is 6 times 6, which is 36. So out of these 36, only 6 pairs have the same number on both dice. 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, and so on. This makes the probability 6 out of 36, which is 1 over 6. So your answer is 1 over 6. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if it helped you, please drop a like rating down below, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, see you in the next video.